So one of the things we've become very good at in this day and age, and you know, it really started about 400 years ago with this uh, you know, objective, rational perspective, you know, the scientific revolution, the Renaissance, we've become very good at uh, disregarding or distracting ourselves from how we're feeling. Now, if you ever think about the the feeling brain, you know, this the mammals I think are about 210 million years uh, old. So this kind of biology is very, very, very old. The front part of the brain, the rational thinking, you know, thoughts in and of themselves, it's very, very young. But we've really put a lot of focus on that part of the brain, so much so that we've begun to, like I said, um, disregard or distract ourselves from how we're feeling. We have to think about feelings. Feelings are how we interpret the world around us. They are the communicators with the outside world. So if there's a tiger in front of us and we feel that anxiety, you can imagine how important it is to recognize the feeling so that we can get the hell out of there. To a lesser extent, we've either forgotten or simply don't do that. So we tell ourselves that we shouldn't be feeling a certain way. We tell ourselves that it's, you know, it's weak to feel a certain way or that, you know, I shouldn't be afraid of public speaking or that I shouldn't be feeling angry or resentful or I shouldn't be doing all these sorts of things. The fact is you are feeling that way and it's just so important to listen to the signal because ultimately an emotion is energy in motion. It's feeling, it's trying to tell you something. We have to listen to it. And part of this module is listening to the pain understanding why you decided to take this course you know why is it in life you don't like where you're at why you don't like who you are if you really start to listen to those feelings very quickly they will come up they will surface and they will give you that context and perspective that you're after and even what i've found working with people even just that context is enough for you to start to see beyond the horizon of who you could be so if you really have a look at your life on a piece of paper, we're using the pen or the pencil, and you can type this up too, by all means. You really start to look at your life from an objective perspective and you say, this is why I don't like where I am. This is why I'm in pain, psychologically or physically speaking. God, I hope not. And it feels like A, B, and C, okay? That will be enough energy and motivation for you to start to see why you don't want to live this life anymore. And these are confronting topics to talk about, but because they are so intentional, it is my hope that as you move through this course, they'll really motivate you to, to, to move forwards and progress. So without further ado, I suppose, uh, enjoy writing your, your pain module.